hello welcome to our youtube channel thank you so much for all our new subscribers and if you're not following us on instagram please go ahead and do so it's at joanne homemade meals and i'll take you right into starting for this shortly few days ago or i think it was last week i posted a video on our channel it was just a small little preview of sardine fritters however there's somebody that asked for the full recipe so here it is today in our bowl we have three large spoon of plain flour that we are going to use because it's just me and mom so it's not going to be a lot of fritters and here we have our ground seasoning and we're using chili peppers today because unfortunately we do not have any scotch bunny peppers to use and we're going to use two cans of sardine which you can see right here now remember that you can add more flour and use more sardine depending on how many fritters that you want of course it's just me and mom so we're just gonna make a small little portion so all we're doing here now is going to crush our sardine but first of all you will notice that our sardine is already cleaned up we remove those little funny fish bones that come with sardine and the little bits as well we do not want that to be in our fritters and also we drain off that excess oil that comes in the can of the sardine So all we're doing now is crushing our sardine a little bit more out okay and guys if you want to use egg as well for your sardine fritters this is an option but we do not want to use any egg today now moving on to preparing our sardine batter is add a little bit of salt and also sprinkle a little bit of black pepper you just want to mix it around so it incorporate the salt and the black pepper flavor and then of course we add in our ground seasoning which is like some purple onion bell pepper green and yellow now if you do not want to add any ground seasoning whatsoever in your sardine fritters then of course this is not something that you have to do So we're now throwing in our sardine as well in our bowl right here and you know guys i just want to say that back in the olden time and i like to go in the olden time because mommy is actually beside me constantly reminding me that in those days they didn't have bell peppers to really use in fritters so it's just a little bit of black pepper and a pinch of salt and she said it was the best but of course, I was born in the 80s, but I'm not that old. Anyway, I did experience a bit of what she mentioned. And traditionally, it is so much nicer without these fancy dressing. But of course, as time goes by, we step up a little bit. All right. So of course, let me not get carried away. We are adding in some water. And because obviously we're just preparing our batter um, to a consistency that we want before we can start frying our fritters. Stay tuned. Now, although we are making sardine fritters, saltfish fritters is my number one fritters of all time. I'm just going to ask my mom, what is your favorite fritters to make? Well, um, saltfish fritters and I like, I like banana as well and plantain as well. I like that. Okay, so you heard the chef herself. Why don't you not leave your comments below on what is your favorite fritters? In a way, our oil is ready and all we're doing is adding in our fritters just like this. We don't want it to be too thin and we don't want it to be too thick either. And fritters is something that is easily fried, guys. And so you want to make sure that your flame is between medium and low. So keep your eyes closely on your fritters while they are frying, you know, between two minutes or so on each side. And of course, you can flip it as it goes along until you get your fritters um, exactly to how you want. Remember, guys, that we have flour involved here. So you want to make sure that inside of your fritters is also going to be properly 
salt okay so we do not end up with fritters with raw flour inside fritters in general for me is very very good and easy to prepare especially for breakfast or for lunch and you can basically have it with steamed cabbage you can have it with a nice cup of hot chocolate tea basically pretty much anything that is um, pairable um, to have with your fritters okay what do you like to have your fritters with? why don't you not leave your comments below and tell us all about it now as you can see we are flipping our fritters on the other side uh, we need actually a couple more minutes before we remove them from our pot and you see the difference right here now we do have more fritters that we obviously need to fry so now that we're removing our first batch because we get it to how we want to we will repeat the same process we also have on our channel many videos of fritters from banana fritters to I believe plant and fritters as well if not but I definitely know that we have soulfish fritters on our channel I will get those link and add in the description box and also as a reminder to add the list of ingredients that we add for our sardine fritters today now remember that we're also on Instagram at Joan Homemade Meals mother and daughter and if you want to go and follow us there you can do so as well our fritters is looking beautiful and we're just gonna have ours with a little bit of coffee I think my mom is gonna have peppermint tea the same beautifully done guys thank you so much for watching remember to like share and subscribe and tell your friends and your family all about our channel